Um, I, I've got the distinct pleasure today in introducing my good friend, Sid Pimer. Um, I, I just want to tell, before I even introduce Sid and go through his very lengthy CV, which I won't spend uh, 10 hours on, uh, which you could, uh, I just want to tell the story of the Cape Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Um, I've been involved and my business has been involved with that Cape Chamber for about 35 years, but the Cape Chamber itself is over 200 years old. And the Cape Chamber was an illustrious chamber. It's uh, probably the, I think it's the second oldest chamber in the world, probably the biggest chamber of commerce in Africa. Um, I know it challenged Egypt. And this was a, an august body. And it started falling apart as um, business became more frenetic. And over the past 15 years, the chamber started collapsing, uh, both financially and with the membership. And it wasn't, as, it wasn't anymore the voice of business that we knew the Chamber of Commerce to be. And at the time, when they were in a desperate situation, they appointed Sid Pimer. And that's why I'm telling you this whole story, because Sid came in. And he did some things that irritated some people. He did some things that uh, were different, that had not been thought of before. But the reality is he turned the tide completely. He revived that Cape Chamber of Commerce and Industry back to its illustrious history of 200 years. And I remain a member of that Chamber of Commerce. I find it ex ex extraordinarily relevant but obviously the worry was that it would collapse. And so I want to personally thank you uh, for doing what you did. I know it's taken a couple of years and I know that once you've completed your task and you've put it back on the rails, you've now moved on to better things. And I personally thank you on behalf of the Cape Chamber of Commerce and Industry for what you did.